Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lilyworks, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, uh, eventually whatnot. But um, in this video, we are going to be talking specifically about jewelry and how to list your jewelry with a really good title. So um, I picked up some pieces from Poshmark specifically to show you guys what not to do. <laughs> Honestly. So I picked up one, two, three, four pieces from a seller on Poshmark because I was like, mm, 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 do not, you guys watch this video, do not list like this because they are losing money because um, they're not listing. And if this, if, if this is you, this is a good learning opportunity here because your listings title makes your item searchable and your buyers trust you more. And I know what I'm looking for because I sell a lot of vintage jewelry. Um, so I knew what I was looking at just based off of pictures, but not a lot of people do. So let me, let's get into... Uh, the video and I'm going to show you these pieces that I snatched from Poshmark. All right, so I pulled up my order here and I kind of wanted to explain how I got these pieces um, here. So I had these almost the exact same, well, no, the exact same <laughs> earrings um, that I was listing. And as you do, you go, you take pictures of your jewelry and you Google Lens to see if there's any listings that come up as similar. So I saw this one and it came up on Poshmark and it was marked... Let's see what, what she marked it as. Figure eight gold post earrings for $9. And I was like, I clicked on it and I'm like, do they not even like know that they're Napier? Because these look like such nice high quality Napier earrings. And when you're doing that with costume jewelry, it's kind of almost bringing the market down. So like price them accordingly, at least 20. Like these are so nice and wearable today. These are probably 1980s with the texture and the silver, or I'm sorry, the shiny gold tone. And they are a chain link dangle style with a post, clearly marked Napier. Um, so I was listing them and I was like, oh no. And like, not only that, but on the beginning of the um, listing, it said three for 15. So I decided, okay, I'm going to look at this person's closet because this person did not put name brands. So I'm like, okay, what else can I get? Three for $15. So I'm going through it and turns out that there were some other pieces and I'm, I, she didn't even take pictures of the back of these, but I was like, okay, they have to be something there that like weeping um, brooch looking type MCM jewelry, but these are like earrings. You see that, and I, I see this um, a lot in mid-century jewelry, like with the um, different rope dogs and things like that. So this was really fun. And then on the back of these, I saw that there was a back to one of them, and it's labeled P.E.P., -E which I know is Irwin Pearl, which is a high-end costume, vintage costume designer. So this is definitely a bolo, is Irwin Pearl. And these are some nice, classy, matte gold, teardrop, or paisley shaped earrings. And then we had a um, Monet with this mother of pearl pendant. And a little bit more modern, but so sweet. It has a crystal drop and then even crystal on the clasp. And so I was like, okay, we're adding to the bundle and I'm sending her an offer um, so I sent her an offer of 20 for these four pieces because she was, she had a sale of three for 15. So these she had listed as teardrop gold earrings, the Irwin Pearl. Um, these are actually marked, if you guys can see it, you might be able to hear the children laughing their heads off upstairs. Um, so if you check around the post check around the post. You guys can see that it says Monet right there around this post. The letters are going around. So that was exciting. 
And so these, this one just said Monet necklace. And then this one just said gold post earrings. So all in all, like these are not like crazy great reseller prices. Don't go sourcing on Poshmark for these prices, but I kind of bought them just to show you guys and make this video. And I definitely can resell these because my cost per item is with like the shipping and everything is about $7.50. So I'm thinking at least like 20 for each um, piece. So yes, so this person was kind of, I don't know if they even like know jewelry that well and they were just trying to get rid of it or what, but you definitely, uh, she definitely missed out on a lot of money um, by listing it this way. And then I saw other things that sold, she was selling for three four fifteen, and uh, let's just take a peek. I'm not going to show her name, but we're going to do go through the solds availability sold items okay so we have this um three for 15 she did oh I, I also want to get these but someone got them right before me the necklace and the these two so she had these for five dollars each as well so this this is one of those that I really like selling for like around 20 plus. It's the three strand, possibly like Hong Kong or something. And she just put um, beaded fashion necklace. So that's really hard to um, search for, honestly, like if you were looking for that necklace. And then there was these fun um, earrings. And let's just take a look on the back. This one says C-I-N-U-S-A, I believe, something like that. And then these, you can't really see. So not not really great pictures either, but honestly, I wanted to buy these for $2.50 each because I definitely know I could resell them. Um, so these were mine right here. Let's see what else. <sighs> Okay, I don't really see a lot of other jewelry. Okay, so I hope I, I hope I made a point, but now we're going to go on eBay together and we're gonna take a look at some, um, we're gonna look at some listings that I think could use some work and then ones that really stand out and have what I'm looking for. All right, so I'm on eBay and we're going to look at some um, listings that would catch our attention and some that might need a little help. So I'm just going to type in gold um, clip on earrings to see, like I'm just pretending I'm a buyer and we're gonna see what comes up. Obviously the first things that come up are going to be the things that are promoted, but um, we're going to just see, I'm just going to filter this by pre-owned because most of what we are selling is going to be pre-owned. And honestly, when I'm buying things for myself, I filter for pre-owned because I just trust people um, that are resellers more than I trust like sellers from China or people that are buying from Shein and flipping. Um, so let's take a peek at, all right, so this person has vintage clip-on earrings, large matte gold tone. You can see that they didn't use all of their characters. Um, a big, a bigger uh, title means they use all the characters. So let's just take a peek. Let's see if these are signed or anything and what we would add to these. So the picture itself is on green. I don't think the green looks super nice with the gold tone. It doesn't really pop. Um, you are able to see what the earrings look like um, on her finger, like the scale of them, the size of them, um, which I do like. Let's see, do we see any maker yet? I don't. So what would we add to this? My, these might be Avon. I see like a little circle and that might be a dot in there. So know that Avon has different markings. So vintage clip on large matte gold tone. So these are actually silver and, or I'm sorry, a shiny gold and a matte gold. What we know about this type of matte gold is a lot of that came from the 80s. So I would put in 
uh, I do, I do like the vintage being the first word. I might put in vintage 80s because I think 80s is a very searchable term. I might put designer style um, or wearable or something like that because somebody can wear these today and it would be like really wearable today. Um, and then matte and then I might also put like shiny gold tone and then make um, things like that just so I'm filling in all the characters. But when you are looking like scrolling through eBay, um, you want to put the most important keywords of what people might look for right at the beginning. I don't think clip-on is super important. I might put that towards the end. Let's see. Vintage gold tone rhinestone brown clip-on earrings. This person has better pictures. We'll just clip or click on it because I think that they probably know um, a little bit more about reselling and also, if someone has like only two or three pictures or even one, I'm just like, okay, they were, they weren't, uh, they didn't really know what they're looking at or they don't really care to spend too much time. Okay, this person has a lot of clo close ups of the uh, jewels. Let's see. Okay, so these do look like they're unmarked. So, what I would do um, just to add more, so they also have gold tone brown clip. Well, let's see, let's go back to the color. These um, surrounding stones, I don't think they're clear. So they could be like a citrine color um, or a light brown or like an amber tone. I can't really tell from the pictures, but I might include that. Also, these are reminding me of um, like 1950s or 1940s. Um, and they are prong set. So that would be another thing you can put in um, as keywords. All right, let's go back. <clears throat> Ooh, this one, this one is vintage gold tone dazzling. Dazzling isn't really searchable, but when I see that, I'm kind of like, oh, what is so dazzling? Um, so sometimes I will do that for myself. I'll put um, stunning or romantic or just like more descriptive type words. Um, vintage gold tone, dazzling purple rhinestone screw back clip on earrings. And then they also have right here, the CJ 087, which usually means their bin number, which I don't like putting in. I feel that it does take up, um, character spaces. So yeah, I, again, I don't see, um, any marks and also they don't have, um, any, ruler or holding them or anything like that. So I would definitely include that. Joan Rivers earrings. Yes. And they have them right in the hand. So you know how, how big they are. Here is someone who, um, <clears throat> let's just talk about this one right here. Um, so this person put everything in caps, which I've heard is not the best for search and it's also kind of aggressive um, and honestly hard to read a little bit. So what I've always done and what I've heard to do is to just capitalize the first letter and also spell out vintage because if I'm a new buyer and I'm looking for vintage 80s earrings for like a costume party or I'm just getting into jewelry, I don't know that VTG, I won't, I won't type in VTG um, when I'm searching for earrings, because I don't know what that means. And so I will spell out vintage as like my first word, unless I'm, unless more words are important and it only fits as VTG. But, um, yeah, so this actually looks like adventuring. So it says vintage artisan Gail Rothstein. Let's see, are they marked? Yes, they are. So not super clearly marked. Let's see, Gail Rothstein designer. So that's interesting. So these might be um, actual genuine stones and I might put that in there instead of beautiful. I might put that that's actually adventuring and then it looks like an agate stone on top. Um, these honestly are giving me Egyptian revival vibes with the matte gold and the different stones. Um, but this one's not too bad. It's just, those are some things that I would switch around here. 
So Chanel, I think those would just get attention because those are um, Chanel. So let's, let's, everything that's at the top um, kind of is mostly um, promoted. So we're just going to go from lowest price so that we're getting some lower price. Okay, here we go. Gold clip-on earrings, vintage earrings clip-on. Okay, so we're getting some, like, look at this. 350 free local pickup. That would be, this would be a really hard sale. Okay, so this is prong set. Oh, these are really interesting. They're like kind of modernist with that swirl um, metal on top. Prong set, amber colored rhinestones. Let's see. There's an up close, up close, and then there's the back. So it, again, it does look like it's unmarked, but definitely put some keywords in there, like we mentioned. Um, let's see. What are these? So there's some, they have the front and the back on that one. Art Deco style. I don't know if those are super Art Deco style. Oh, okay, you guys notice that one right there? I just showed these um, Sarah Coventry earrings in one of my hauls. Um, that I paid two dollars for these bottom earrings here. So maybe the other ones are signed. Let's see. Okay, they did say uh, Sarah Coventry in one. So two pair Art Deco. I don't know. I think these are like 1980s. So it looks like black enamel, and the and the pictures are just really hard to see anything. And there's only three. So definitely make sure your pictures. You know, you can see everything in them, like this whole like vignette thing that's around the outside of the pictures is not, is not helping. <laughs> it's actually hurting it because the dark and the white um, fading that's going on around the edges is making it look even more blurry. So I wouldn't even know. So let's see, $3.99 free shipping. That's basically less than what shipping would cost me, <laughs> $3.99 Um so should I even bid? Should we bid <laughs> on these and get them? Um, that would basically be like $2 a piece, which is easily flippable. And then these black enamel and gold, shiny gold, um, maybe half hoops or hoops, they might be flippable. So let's place a bid. We're going to four. All right. I'm the highest bidder. Okay. Um, 1960s, interesting, vintage gold tone and rhinestone clip on earrings. So sometimes when it's a big rhinestone, you can call it headlight. And I do like that they are, you, um, they're clear all the way through. So that indicates higher quality to me. So I would put bezel set because it is just set with nothing on the back. They're not foiled back because you can see all the way through. That's also making me like a little bit curious. Like, are they rock crystal? How do they know these are 1960s? The back of these don't really scream 1960s to me. So yeah, interesting. Okay, let's see. This person did a really great job um, describing it and using a lot of um, keywords in their listing. And they do the uppercase, lowercase, Vintage, I think that they, um, yeah, they really use their title effectively. Oh, these are screaming um, runway, right? They're, yeah, I, I agree. They're textured, maybe even like alligator, alligator print embossed, but I'm sorry, embossed or croc embossed. Oh, actually, these kind of look like rattlesnake tails, don't they? We could totally say that. Rattlesnake tail. That's really neat. Yeah, and maybe articulated because they probably move. So that would be a great word. Um, if they're like joined together with little jump rings, they would be articulated. So yeah, you could probably scoop those up and resell them if you're only getting them for $3.99. And yeah, so like five bucks. Um, we're just going to look at a few more. And then I, I'm hoping this is helping you guys. Okay, let's see. Vintage gold tone. Yep. Vintage signed Tara. Confetti Lucite. Yes, that is true. And I don't know. You don't need to put emojis. 
that little sun emoji um that's not really searchable unless you like absolutely need to have one in there because you I don't I don't know I don't know why you would absolutely need to have one in there okay so this is not clip on why is it showing up vintage gold tone twisted design oh these look these look nice don't they like they look like Monet or something like that so we're gonna take a pic a peek yeah these look like Monet do you see the shape of the back of the clip on um let's see yeah very blurry you can't see them very well they did use um eBay's feature where it takes out the background but eBay's um, feature of removing the background is really not that great it is not high quality so I prefer to just take pictures in a light box and then retouch the picture itself um, with the white background already so abstract design gold tone clip on earrings so they didn't put vintage and they didn't put the maker which I'm sure is um Monet just looking at it so yeah interesting all right there we go all right I hope that that was helpful for you guys at all um yeah and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed on this channel we do a lot of jewelry we do what sold over the weekend and i'm possibly going to be doing like a jewelry haul or unboxings i have a bunch of shop goodwill um jewelry that i have and i also just went to value village and salvation army and got a lot of jewelry and a belt and a scarf that's gorgeous so yeah make sure you leave me a comment down below let me know if this helped you out at all and go ahead and join the facebook group if you're not already joined i have the link down below as well and and as always make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>